OK, so we've got quite a wordy question here. Uh, we've got two screening tests are used to determine the presence of a disease. The first test, test A, has three possible outcomes. A patient either tests positive with probability one seventh, negative with probability one half, or inconclusive. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to build up this tree as we go. So for test A, you either are tested as positive, negative, or inconclusive. OK, so the probability of a patient testing positive was one seventh. The probability of a patient testing negative is one half. So the probability of a, te a patient testing inconclusive is not identified, so we need to work that one out. So it'd be one half, uh, sorry, one, take away one half, take away one seventh. So that would be five fourteenths. OK? So then uh, we have a second test, test B, has only two possible outcomes, positive or negative, and is only given to those who tested negative or in inconclusive for test A. So we've got test B. So if they tested negative in the first test, then they will be tested again. If they tested inconclusive, they will be tested again. OK. So um, for if a patient tested negative for test A, the probability of testing positive for test B is 1 over 100. OK. So that means the probability of testing negative here would be 99 over 100. Inconclusive, if a patient tests inconclusive for test A, the probability of testing positive for B is 2 ninths. So that means the probability of testing negative must be 7 ninths. Find the probability that a patient tests negative for the disease. OK, so the ways that they can end up negative is if after test B they have got negative. OK, so that must mean they're and there. There are two possible routes through. So either they tested negative initially, they were tested again and they got 99 over 100. Okay, so 99 over 100 divided by 2 is 99 over 200 of course. And then inconclusive 5 fourteenths, and then they got negative on the second test, so 7 ninths. So 5 times 7 divided by 14 times 9, and that's 5 eighteenths. So it's the sum of those two probabilities, the two roots through, so 5 eighteenths plus 99 over 200. And so that gets us 1391 over 1800, which is equal to 0 0.773 to three significant figures. So that's the probability that someone will test negative for the disease using those two tests.